Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome back to CES 2010. We're on the Toshiba stand and I'm with Bruce. Now, Bruce, we're going to talk about Cell TV. Phil, I've been talking about Cell TV all week. We're very excited to have it as the heart of our booth this year. Our Cell TV is coming out in the fall of 2010. is going to be the, our flagship TV, our ultimate TV in our lineup. It's going to consist of an outboard cell processor married to various flat panel TVs. But let's talk about the cell processor for a second. You're going to have an outboard box that does so many things. It's amazing. It's going to have a built-in Blu-ray player. It's going to have a terabyte hard drive. It's going to communicate wirelessly from the cell box to your flat panel TV. Have you seen 3D at the show? Cell processor is going to do 3D, but not only will it do 3D from 3D sources, the cell processor is so powerful, it will make everything you watch 3D, even 2D content, even vacation pictures. Everything you watch will be in 3D all the time, on the fly. Now that's an interesting point I want to pick up on. Um, how does it make 2D pictures into 3D pictures? How do you get the depth information from uh, a flat image? Without having too many specifics, what I can say is the power of the cell processor uses pr proprietary algorithms to identify what needs to be in what spot on the screen. And the fact that it can do it on the fly, in real time, is the part that's amazing to me. And of course, we're not just talking about 3D. You have video processing in there. Some of the, the most powerful, what you said at the press conference anyway, it's some of the most powerful in the market. Exactly. It's 143 times more powerful than the most powerful processor in TVs right now. With the internet generation that's watching this video right now, we'll be able to take YouTube quality videos and blow it up to a 55 inch TV and have it watchable. It's that powerful. And I guess the other thing is uh, in Japan where this has been released, mm -hmm. um, you can record up to 10 channels yeah. at once. Yeah, I don't have the specifics on the tuning capability of the TV, but I do know that what we're introducing in the US is the built-in Blu-ray player and the built-in terabyte hard drive that can serve as the media hub for your entire house. Because not only does it have the wireless HD to send uncompressed video to the TV set, it'll have 802.11n, so you can do full wireless streaming throughout the house. So any content that's on that terabyte hard drive, you can watch or listen to anywhere in the house on compatible devices. Now we're talking about a very powerful processor, very powerful in what it can do. Yeah. But I guess the main thing with a TV is picture quality. So what are you doing with the picture quality? Absolutely. One of our taglines for years has always been, it's the processing that makes the picture. And that's never been more true than now with the cell processor. When we marry our TV, and with the cell processor to our new Kira 2 backlight system, you're going to get unprecedented levels of picture quality. Just as a frame of reference, Phil, what I'd say is our current flagship LED TV, which is one of the highest rated sets out there, you get 96 zones of backlight, of uh, local dimming on the set, and you get a brightness rating of 500 candelas per meter squared. Now, with the power of the cell processor, we jump from 96 zones to 512 zones. We jump from 500 candelas per meter squared to 1,000. Twice the brightness, five times the number of individually controlled zones on the panel, giving you unprecedented blacks, dynamic bright whites, and all that beautiful grayscale in between that's the heart of a breathtaking picture. Okay, well, Bruce, stay where you are. We're going to come back in a few seconds and talk about Kira 2 technology. But for now, this is Phil Inson from CES saying thanks for watching.